Hi! Today I'd like to share seminar video about health service for foreigners in Sukuba part 1. This part discuss about the practical way for visiting doctors, health checkups for young people, then about how national health insurance works and health checkups, also about medical welfare systems or Marufuku. So this video already got permission for being uploaded and shared. Hopefully this video can bring much help for your daily life in Japan, especially in Sukuba and will make you pay much attention to health or medical problems. This seminar promoted by Global Common Sukuba University and Cecilia's friends. Cecilia is Sukuba University student who passed away this year on May 2017. She passed away due to diabetic ketoacidosis. Because the video start from slide point five, I'll try give you brief explanations from point one to four. So let's move to the presentation. Okay. So in point one, they explained about how to visit the hospital during consultations hour. And you can check through this link. And don't forget for make reservation before come to clinic because some clinics have requirement for reservation by phone or online. And next point two. In this slide, um, they explain about how to visit the hospital outside consultations hour during weekends and night time. For more detail about explanations you can check this link or if you have a problem during outside consultations hour especially for kids you can call Ibaraki hotline for kids emergency so this is the number and from push button points or mobile phones and remember the nurse may not be fluent in English so if possible call with your friend who can speak Japanese and the counseling time in weekdays 6 30 p.m. to 12 30 a.m. and for holidays and year end and new year holidays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the nurse advise you on the phone whether you should take a child to a doctor immediately or not in case of emergency or you can go directly to Sukuba Medical Center and Sukuba University Hospital without reservation then point three okay so uh, in point three they said that an adult who knows the child's symptoms should take the child to the hospital. So the doctor will ask you about the body temperature and what they had consumed. And also um, they will ask about how about their slap and poo poo. And next in point four. Point four is about what things to bring to the hospital for a touch. First is ID card. So every clinic has their own card and they will issue it on your first visit. And the second one is um, Hoken or National Health Insurance card. And the third one is Okusuri Techo. This one is Medicine Record Handbook. And you can get it from the pharmacies. Okay, next is for your child. So for the 
children things that must bring are busi techo or maternal and child health handbook okusuri techo medicines record handbook marufuku and national health insurance card then remember if you think your child's faces looks different and you are worried take a picture or take it with you with you in a plastic bag and if there is any medications already taken take it with you okay for next explanations let's watch the video from city hall staff health promotion division national health insurance division medical welfare and pension division and it was presented from international exchange office staff so let's check it out so please be aware to be able to answer them i think like these ones if you have any allergies to the medicine or any food you can answer but does anyone in your family have the similar same symptoms like cancer uh, heart shock those are something that you have to know to <laughs> learn from your family mm -hmm. beforehand Anybody get called in an ambulance in the car before? <laughs> I haven't called an ambulance. <laughs> but probably calling an ambulance seems like a really high, um, how can I say, a difficult thing to do in a foreign country. But please remember that all the members at even 199 is aware and trying to help you. They won't ignore you because you're a foreigner. So, and probably it's difficult to decide to call an ambulance or not. Mm -hmm. So these are the checklists. Mm -hmm. If any of these applies to your child or yourself, please call an ambulance. Mm -hmm. And the ambulance is not 911. It's 111. And if you really panic, you can just forget the number and just dial mm -hmm. different ones. So just leave the 199 somewhere in the fridge or in front of your phone or somewhere. But even though you get in a panic, you can just dial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So next I would like to explain um, the services that we provide as a city hall, health services for all the citizens who live in town. So, if you or your partner becomes pregnant, you will have to come to the city hall and apply for food, bad kids cards, and maternal and child and child candidate. I think you have seen, most of you have seen this blue one, mm -hmm. if you have a child. And it's probably going to take you around an hour or an hour and a half to apply for all this. It's too many to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. But all these are important for you to be able to receive and the needed service for your health delivery and the health of your child. So, just for your information, Scuba has only four hospitals that you can go to for a baby. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. these are the four. <laughs> and the, this one on the bottom is the private clinic. So you think most of the university students take birth at the university. So it's a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So after meeting your precious baby, uh, you have plenty of paperwork to do again as a city mm -hmm. um, You will have to apply for the vaccination records and health checkup coupons, national health insurance, and you will have to apply for the money for the baby. So when they are pregnant, they have the maruhuku for pregnant women. When they, the baby's here, then the maruhuku switches to the baby. So there are two types of one. Mm -hmm. I would like to explain for the little bit. So, when you give birth, after you, you give birth, the hospital will provide you the one month checkup. But after that, it's going to be taken responsibility by the city hall. So for children between 0 to 12 months old, we'll have two checkups to be able to attend. 
One is from three to seven months, and the other is from nine to 12 months. If you miss this time even one day, you won't be able to use this coupon. So please be aware that you have to use this coupon during this time if you want to take or you want to have your child to get a health checkup. This coupon comes with the vaccination coupons. So I think if you have experience, you will receive a stack of papers with all the vaccination coupons, and it's going to be included in For 18 months and 3 years old, we have a group checkup. Notice we'll be sending this envelope. The skinny one is for 18 month checkup. This big one is for three years old checkup. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to make all the documents that will be enclosed this in English as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And so I will explain that. It says on the page 25 of Square Up. This page you can see it in this book. And in this one, this 
bone density test is also included from the age of 30. So this one is from 30, 35, 40, 45. So <coughs> This is one. It will say that if you are available for that check uh, checkup or not. So, you, but it's all in Japanese. Mm -hmm. So you will either have to read through it, or please come to the city hall if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. F one. F one is this orange envelope. Um, this is sent to all the people who are enrolled in the national health insurance. Okay. Excuse me. On the is it any English terms? For example, emergency for health scare? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am now working on putting some stamps and hopefully we will have it in English also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, so, where was I? Orange. So, this and is for the every citizen between 20 to 39 years old who does not have a chance to check like, any hospital. Mm -hmm. And for those who are over, over 90, Nineteen? Forty. 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 But your spouses, yeah. of course, they don't have any chances uh, yeah. to uh, uh, uh. if your wife or husband mm. comes. So in that time, mm. please come to the city hall and let us know. Mm. I have a spouse that doesn't have any chance to take a checkup. We would like to have a checkup, so please give us a coupon. Mm. We were, we, of course, we will give you the coupon. Mm. <laughs> so please let us know if you need to check up. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. So probably, even you are a university student but does not live on campus, maybe you have a disease. No? <laughs> okay. So, well anyways, please let your friends also know that if they haven't received these coupons when their families are here, please make sure to tell them, announce them that they are responsible and they can take those <laughs> And we also have this checkup form through physical checkup, which we call it, which we call it Ningen Doku in Japanese. It's a pretty expensive checkup because you have to pay about 40,000 yen or much higher. But this is usually this listed amount up here will be uh, supported by the city hall. So, mm. it, so even though they give you that this is the amount that for the checkup, mm. but please remember that you don't have to pay full amount for mm. it. Pretty much half of it is mm. going to be supported by the city hall. Mm. Mm. And the details are mm. on the page. Mm. 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 This blue, blue envelope is <laughs> for the ones who are enrolled in the employee health insurance. So I don't think it applies for you in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Okay, national health insurance. Excuse me. Hi. Can you please ask you about the deadline on this coupon? Oh, there is always a time interval where you're supposed to apply and have to mm. check. What happens if you, if you uh, pass that deadline? You go to the mm. If you go over the deadline, you can't take the mm. So you cannot use the coupon, but the question is can you still have the check out? You can still take the check out, but it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Mm. 
Hmm. And usually the deadline is on the next year, end of February. Hmm. No, end of February. Hmm. For the And even 
on the first day and second day, if it's above 600 yen, it's all covered. So that is the system how this modification works. Okay. Mm -hmm. So please just remember this part. It has to be the same possible with the same thing. You have pregnant woman Marufuku. This time, it's only for medical treatments for illness and or injuries which have been diagnosed by a doctor to carry on pregnancy and for a safe delivery. So this Marufuku is, doesn't apply for all clinic visits, but you never know when it's going to be an emergency. So please carry it with you anytime when you're pregnant. Mm. And also, this doesn't apply for the extra bed expenses when you stay at the hospital mm -hmm. or any payment for the regular delivery. It's only for emergency cases. Mm -hmm. So, Marufuku can only be used in a prefecture you are registered as a citizen. So, I think for most of you, it's Ibaraki Prefecture. Mm -hmm. So, even you go to the hospital and still a city, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But if you go to a different prefecture, mm -hmm. then you have to do the moving out procedure again, and you will get a new Marufuku city, so it's all the same, but you can't use the different prefecture. Mm -hmm. okay, for children, the new Marufuku will be sent out every year by post on the next month of your child's birthday. Yeah. So it looks the same. But it's different, so please make sure to throw away the old one and use the new one. And the pregnant Marufuku expires on the next month of your due date. So whenever you already had your child, you won't be able to use it anymore, so you can just throw it away. Same. Okay. Oh, I think I have spoken too fast. <laughs> so at the City Hall website, have you seen this page? Oh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so, have you seen the City Hall webpage? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Up here, is it English, Chinese, easy, mm -hmm. Japanese? Mm -hmm. It looks like that. Mm -hmm. If you click on English, you can see the page with all the English. Mm -hmm. But the information is a little yeah, bit limited. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 <laughs> Always <laughs> like that. <laughs> 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 I already have the data of the square of the plant, and I also have this hospital information up there. So if you need to look through it, please go there and see. If you want to send us an email, please send us an email through this, or just come to the city hall. We're on the second floor, so you can stop by and talk. Okay. So, and we also issue this. We also issue this uh, newsletter. We issue it bi-monthly on the 20th. It's available in English, Chinese, Korean, Portuguese, Japanese, Spanish, Thai, and Hmong. Okay. 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 And then distributed many places. To the center, university, library, uh, IAS. Daycare. Daycare, Hoi Gwen. As all Hoi Gwen. If your child goes to the daycare of Hoi Gwen, we send it to you every five months. So if you have received it. If you haven't, we also have it at uh, BB. If you have any chance to stop by and see, or eat, even eat stations in Suba City, Suba Kenkyu Gaku, Bampa Kunidorino, we have it on the outside of the Kaisatsu. Mm -hmm. So please go see, and if you would like, please take a coffee. And we also have some health uh, issues on this. Mm -hmm. okay. So please grab a copy and see the newest information. The next one will be issued around August 21st. 21st. So I think for kids, you will receive it in September. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you for listening. And consultation oh, hour sorry. means. Consultation hour means that the regular open hours of each clinic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every day we meet from Monday to 
Um, Friday. Oh, some hospitals are closed on Wednesday, some are closed on Thursday. Hmm. It all says on the card or the web page, but it depends by hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, just sorry, can you just add, uh, about this? Do you need to call them beforehand uh, to sign up for the consultation or can you just show up? Recently, most of the hospitals ask you to yes, get a reservation beforehand. Mm -hmm. And some of them is by phone, some mm -hmm. of them you have to go on the page and search for the mm -hmm. consultation. So it's kind of complicated, but I think most of the time you can call them and let them know that you, can, you don't know how to use the web page or to get a reservation. I think they will be able to help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also here the notion of have your own family doctor. How can, should I go and tell now you are my family doctor? <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> this is something that we have started saying also in Japan regularly, that it's better to see the doctor that you're comfortable yeah. with and pretty much to go to the same doctor the whole family. Mm. So the family will know the family members and can mm. see the record and the symptoms. But I think it's kind of difficult, but yet, sometimes it's good to go to the same doctor.